10,000 plus submissions down to 40 that will now become a group of four flags, the most popular of which will be pitted against the flag that's represented our country since 1902. Flag Consideration Panel Chairman Professor John Burrows joins me now. John, good morning to you. Good morning. Um, right, we've got the 40. You've narrowed it down to 40. Why have you even put the 40 out, John? Uh, we wanted to show the public where we were at because they've been helpful to us in making suggestions, putting in many designs. Mm. So we thought it was a bit unfair to close the door right now. And we wanted to show people too that there is a real choice out there. OK, but it's and not a choice. One other not... reason too, yeah. perhaps. Uh, yeah. we, we need to do some further checks on some of these because there, are, there could be copyright issues. So putting them out to the public at least means the public can come and say, well, look, we think there's a real problem with that one. Oh, OK, so, the, so you are wanting some feedback from the public on these just in case, not saying whether they like them or not, but just in case they say, oi, oi, that's our design, you can't have it. Yeah, that's precisely right. Yeah. Okay. Now, when I look at this, now you've narrowed it down to this hodgepodge of bizarre, weird designs. Now, some of them are not bizarre and weird, but some of them are, and I wonder how some of these could get through. For instance, um, the silver fern in brackets green. It's just a green bit of fabric with a white silver fern. It's not a flag's bottom, really, John, is it? Well, it's the t in, the, in the top 40, uh, the silver fern was probably the most popular of, of the designs we got. And it's the one most talked about. So we did want to give a bit of a choice there. So you, if you look at the, the, the 40, there's quite a few there with the fern on them, as there are with the coru, as there are with the southern cross. Sure. And you might say the southern cross is a reflection of the present flag. Yeah, but you're not actually so giving people as far a as choice, the fern, are you? We, we wanted to give a choice of ferns. Well, why? Because this is not the final four, so we don't get to choose. Uh, but we will be making some very close checks and we'll be ourselves discussing this at some considerable length to think what we, is the, what we think is the, is the best of the firms. You see, I look at these, John, and I think how horrible must the others be if something like Koru in brackets blue gets through? I mean, this is just, it's just weird. It's just feral, isn't it? No. Um, uh, we had 10,000 to choose from and a lot of very, very good designs there. And we got designers' advice on choosing these. We had uh, an advisory panel with uh, cultural representatives, designers, artists. So we yeah. got some good advice. But we were also going on what the public told us when we consulted. There was a lot of consultation sure. done. And we had some very clear advice that this has to really represent New Zealand clearly. It must be unmistakably from New Zealand. OK, all right. So um, the, the symbols that you see on the flags there now are the ones that we thought most represent this country. All right, let me question another one that you've got here, because I love doing this. And I'm not just sort of, I'm not just sort of poking a stick at you, um, because this is important, isn't it? Because this is what we call vibrant debate. Um, you have said yourself, this final design must be unmistakably from New Zealand and celebrate us as a progressive, inclusive, environmentally connected country with a sense of its past and vision of its future. Let's have a look at what I'm calling stars aplenty. Um, this is a black flag with more stars on it than you can shake a stick at. Um, it's like yeah. a skew with Southern Cross with a couple of other stars chucked in for good measure. What's this about? Uh, that, that's Matariki, uh, which is uh, a well-known Maori uh, symbol now. And uh, in, in mid-year, it's uh, an anniversary. So that, that's becoming well known now as another New Zealand symbol. It's not the Southern Cross, but it is another New Zealand symbol. And that's there too for us to further consider. But it's never going to make the grade, is it, John? You're wasting our time putting that up, aren't you? No one's ever going to uh, choose that. We want to show the people. We want to show the people the range we're working with. <laughs> now we have to get this down to four. Whether that'll be in the final four, I simply don't know because we haven't done that. Well, I know that it won't. But we just want to show people. Uh, we just want to show people the range that we, we have now to work with. All right. And, I mean, it's a hard job that you've got. I'm not picking on you because God knows it's a hard job because you come up against people like me who say you're just wasting my time and money. Um, well, and so, you know, I take my hat off to you for saying, saying to John, oh, God, do I have to do it, John? Do I have to be in charge of this rabble of people choosing a flag? Um, <laughs> all right. Um, did all of the people on the, on the appreciation panel look at all of the flags? Because there were 10,292 designs. Yeah. Yes, it's hard to believe this, but every one of the 12 looked at every single design, and that took a very long time. God, and we you then would have gone through a few bottles of Pinot, wouldn't you? Yes. <laughs> but it, 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 
It, it, it, was a, it was a most enjoyable exercise, but we did that individually, and it took quite a long time. OK. Do you know what I'm really surprised about? And I'm, I mean this very seriously. I'm really surprised there isn't in the final 40 one Kiwi in one of those flags, because you did, because the Kiwi was yeah. a, quite a repetitive thing, and I would have thought, even although it would be diabolical and I wouldn't want to see it on a flag, because I don't want the flag changed, but I would have thought that the Kiwi actually ticked all of the boxes for the criteria that you mentioned. Mm. Yes, you know, we had a look at quite a lot of Kiwi flags, and I'm ashamed to say the Kiwi does not look good on the flag. It, it's a difficult... Well, it doesn't look very good in the bush, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, and if you try and stylize it, you actually lose what it is. So with some regret, uh, we've had to say that's not one of our 40. But we certainly look very carefully at that. I find it hard to believe that the Kiwi looked any worse than some of these diabolical selection that you've put before us. I mean, you know, this Southern Cross one, which just has, if I can explain it, it's just a, it's basically exactly like the Southern Cross that we've got now, only there's no Union Jack in the corner. They've been centred and they're out of place. They're not even where the Southern Cross stars are. I mean, no mm. one's ever going to choose that. Jo that's just stupid. Yeah. It's, it's quite a nice design, though, and the Southern Cross appeared in the, in, in the submissions more than any other design. So we felt we had to have one just showing the Southern Cross, right. and we think that's quite a nice one. But it's not actually the Southern Cross, is it? It's just it's a stylized version. No, what you're saying is right, it's, because, I mean, they're not stars, It's what you might call a, sti yep, no, might call a stylized Southern Cross. Yeah. Fair enough. Yep. Um, do you have a favourite here? Um, it's too early to say that. We have a lot of discussing to do. Oh, and just if I did choose have a favorite, one, I John. I tell you what it was. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Yeah, I probably Imagine, wouldn't tell you if I did have one. No, well, I'm going to make you because here's what I'm going to say. Imagine, just sort of put yourself into a separate position, right? Imagine you're just John Burroughs, right? And I've just told you that yep. I am going to shoot you if you don't choose one of these flags. Which one would you choose to well, save your life? I'm probably going to die in that case because <laughs> I, currently, I, but currently I, I, I don't have a favourite, I'm afraid. <laughs> And I'll have to consider those very carefully and look at the criteria before we finally come down to the design. So, no, I don't have a favourite at the moment. Well, I'm going to shoot you. Um, all right, John, thank you for that. Um, very quickly, gut feeling, are we going to change the flag or not? Uh, only a referendum will tell us. Uh, there's a strong oh, anti-change movement, but there are many people who also want to change. And there's over three million people we haven't heard from yet. And only a referendum will tell us. So that, that's why we're having one. And it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. So this won't happen again for a very long time. Okay. So I do hope people vote. Yeah, OK. All right. Thank you very much for coming on, John. Pleasure to talk to you. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Uh, that's Professor John Burrows, who has the... Uh, it's an undesirable job, isn't it, really? Flag Consideration Panel Chairman, you know... That would have been a hard, that would have been a hard bloody job, wouldn't it, to say yes to? I wonder how much he's getting paid. Is he still there? Are you still there, John? How Thank much you. are you getting paid? How much, did, did you get a big sort of stipend for this? Oh, he's gone. That's wise.